All right, guys, this is Chad from Capital MMA. Hoist Gracie Brown Belt I'm here with Paul. Today we're gonna go over some techniques with dealing with the altercation with an aggressor who's in your face who probably wants to punch you in the face. So if Paul and I are at a bar here and he's had too many to drink and he's being aggressive, I'm thinking about the distance between us and the position of his shoulders and his hands, what they're doing. So right now we're a little bit too far from each other for him to punch me out of range. So I can start to calm him down with my hands down here, kind of doing the talking with the hands things here. It's not a fight. I don't want to step back into my stance with my hands up because that's going to escalate things. If we get a little bit closer, he's moving towards me. He's been aggressive. My hands come up here, non-threatening manner, but I'm able to manage the space in between us. From here, I can start to notice those cues for when he wants to throw a sucker punch or one of those like looping haymaker punches where he's going to try to knock me out with one, with one strike. My cues are going to be his hips moving back, his shoulders moving back, and I'm probably paying attention to whether he's clenching his fist too. So I see those hips and shoulders roll back and I'm getting ready to close the distance so that I don't get punched in the face. All right. So my movements from here, I'm stepping forward with my left leg so I can get a nice solid base. My head comes as close to his shoulders as I can get it. And of course, I don't want to get punched in the face, so I'm blocking his arm with my forearms. My forefingers and thumbs are glued together here and I'm controlling his triceps. And this is a nice position where I can kind of weather that storm right, where he tries to punch me as long as I manage my base and keep a connection with these arms, I can keep his hands away from my face. There'll be a moment in this whole scuffle where I'm going to be able to advance this clinching position. So in advancing my clinching position, I'm going to take my right hand here and I'm going to shoot it underneath of his arm, step my feet and get to what we call a T position here. So this T position helps me manage his posture and I can now dictate where this fight ends up because now it is a fight. It's no longer an altercation. So with this clinch, I'm taking my right hand, I'm controlling his hip, I can probably grab his belt or his pants here. With my front hand, I'm controlling his tricep, I'm pulling my elbow to my hip, and now I'm managing his posture. So now we kind of deal with what this situation really is. If Paul is my friend, he just had too many to drink, I can talk him down from here, and once he gets calm, maybe I just separate. Now it's no big deal, all right, we deal with it tomorrow. If I don't know Paul, he gets drunk, he throws that punch at me, I close the distance, advance my clinch to the T position, now I can put the fight where I want it to be. Now the misconception is with jujitsu, I want to take him down and I want to get down the ground with him and then choke him out. I don't really want to do that. I might want you on the ground, but I'm not going there with you. So if we're here and Paul is driving into me, that's when I'm probably going to hit my hip throw. So with my hip throw, I'm going to turn my front foot, come through with my trail leg, my feet are about shoulder width apart, scoop with my hips, get them underneath of his. When my hips come up, he gets onto his toes. I start the lawn mower here, look away, and now he's on the ground. From here, I'm free to do what I want to do. I can punch him in the face, I can break his arm, or I can just break the connection and get out of here. All right? Maybe he throws that sucker punch. From here, I get to my T position. And he doesn't drive into me, he starts to scoot away. As he scoots away, I catch that foot. My heel catches his inside leg. I'm bringing my heel towards my butt and I'm leaning into him. I turn the angle, he goes down again, I stay up. I can still throw strikes, I can just get out of here. I can manage the situation from here. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the techniques we covered today. If you have any questions on these techniques or anything that you would like to see in the future, go ahead and leave them in our comments. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our page. These, this is the first of many techniques that we're going to have in a series of videos that will be coming out. We'll be covering Gracie Jiu Jitsu techniques. We'll be covering striking, drills, functional fitness. So we have a lot going on here. Um, anything that you want to see, again, leave it in the comments section. Um, don't forget, guys, these are techniques that you need to practice in order to be efficient and safe in the streets. So find a partner, drill with them, find a gym. You can always come to Capital MMA. You'll be more than welcome. Our info is in the description below.